Hey, what's up? This is your girl Diamond. How are you? Are you good? I'm good. <laughs> I am coming from a space where I am feeling blessed and highly favored. Happy to be me. Happy to be living in the skin that I am living in. Feeling good about myself. I, my whole life is just great. I love it. I hope. I hope that you are in that exact same space. And if you are not, I hope that you are moving into that space of greatness and well-being. Okay? <laughs> so, this is your girl, Diamond. So, y'all know I had to come and talk to y'all about this situation. So, this media fiasco that is Caitlyn Jenner. So, let me just jump right on in. I ain't even gonna play with y'all. My first thoughts that I have been coming across is the whole white privilege theme. I keep hearing this theme about um, almost like a, from the trans community, like a lash out at Caitlyn about where she is at in her state of privilege. There's almost like a lashing out. And I understand it, but I don't understand the lash out I, 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 I don't. I don't get it. An advantage is an advantage. And sometimes I just read people when they're talking about advantages and privileges. It's just like jealousy. And I understand calling it out when it's, you know, when somebody is misusing their privilege. But when this person is just coming out as a trans person and you are attacking them for the privilege that they have worked hard to have earned and un unearned. Um, there are some privileges that are earned, like the classism. Bruce worked hard. He was an athlete. He had his career. He, um, you know, during his life, he worked hard to his male life worked hard to do what he needed to do to have a coin. Now he has transitioned and he still is going to um, enjoy the benefits of that coin. Now, the white privilege of him being white, yes, there's some privileges that come along with that. I'm not even going to get into that. But I know, of course, being where he's coming from, transition into his to his womanhood there are certain things that Caitlyn is not going to have to endure that some trans women have to endure yes that is just it's just the nature of a beast but I cannot get mad when I meet a girl who parents supported their whole transition financially and did whatever they had to do like little jazz like we have this trans child jazz the little um Lat she looks latina i'm not really for sure her um, ethnic background i'm sorry but she looks latina jazz and her family supports her they're doing what they can to help her in her transition she has uh cl um clean and clear commercial out she's just a beautiful young trans girl trans teenager and her family supports her there's a level of privilege that comes along with that, but I'm not giving her a backlash and being angry with her for having that that set up for her. I'm not going to be mad at Jazz because she has this wonderful family that supported her transition since she was five. That is beautiful. I'm, I'm going to say, take that and run with it, baby girl. Run with it. Take that privilege that you have and run with it. That is an advantage. Use that to change the world. That's the same thing that I'm going to say to Caitlyn. You have a certain level of privilege. You have a certain level of connection that you get to be on Vanity Fair because Caitlyn is on the cover of Vanity Fair. Um, you get to have Diane Sawyer interviews. Everybody, when they're coming out as... Everybody, as they're in their transition, everybody doesn't have those kind of connections. So, all I would want Caitlyn to do is to use those connections for the betterment of our people. How she decides to do that is up to her. What she does, that's her business. 
Like how how far she wants to go with the activism shit? Because some people like for I think Janet Mock. Janet Mock is a good example. I I think I don't know her personally, but they're just my thoughts of her. Janet Mock is like um, I think her dream is to be like a journalist or like a um a television star or somebody with their own show, somebody like that. Her dream isn't really to be an activist. Her dream is to be those things. I don't think so. Now, mind you, I'm just saying this based off what I think and what I've read and how, what I've seen. I don't know her personally. But I don't think her dream is to be this activist, groundbreaking, um, transgender superhero. That's not your dream. You're, you have your dreams and some things just come along with it when you're knocking on the door of these dreams. And so I'm not going to hold her to this standard of... You have to be, you know, everybody ain't fucking Martin Luther King. Everybody is not that martyr or that fucking person. So I'm not going to hold her to that, um, to that esteem. Because she probably just, she doesn't want that. I'm just trying to live my life. And if I just so happen to go on Oprah, which Jenna Mike went on that, uh, her Oprah interview and killed it. I loved it. Um, if I just so happen, my life, me follow me driving towards my dreams leads me to a damn Oprah interview. Shit, I'm going to take the Oprah interview and I'm going to take in when I'm discussing the issues. Yes, I'm going to take everybody into consideration and try to say the right things. But bitch, this is about me and my life. And so I'm going to do what's right for me and my life ultimately. And that's the same thing that I expect from Caitlyn Jenner. I would love that she um, takes her transition to a classy, respectable level that as a trans sister, I can be proud of. I can say that's a sister I can be proud of. I would hope that, but if she doesn't, that's her fucking life. That has that's no reflection upon me. And if anybody feels like another bitch's life is a reflection on me, then bitch, you're ignorant and stupid. If you think that if you see a tranny on the host row, that all trannies is on the host row, then you just as ignorant as them people that think that black men, if you see one black man that's a thug drug dealer, that all of them is black men and thug drug dealers. So I'm going to stop them. If I'm a cop, I'm going to stop them because they're all, they must be smoking weed and selling drugs. Let me pull you over and, uh, and check your car. If you think that we all are in the same box because you've seen one that fits the stereotype, you are an ignorant ass motherfucker and I don't need to respect your opinion anyway because you're ignorant. I don't even need to consider you because you're stupid. You're a stupid idiot. So it doesn't matter what Caitlyn, Janet, Laverne, um, T.S. Madison, um, Name some people that I like and forgetting the people that I don't like. Um, <laughs> um, those girls, it doesn't matter what those girls are doing. I, I want them to be positive role models. I want them, and all of those girls are, are to me. I want them to be positive role models. But if they are not, that's no reflection of me. I'm still doing me. I'm still doing my thing and it's positive to me. So that's not a reflection of me. So you're not, I'm not about to attack, like when um, Carmen Carrera was attacking T.S. Madison about her history and her past. All that shit is stupid. You're being an idiot. You're being, to me, it comes off like you're being a fucking hater. And, you know, she makes us all look bad and, you know, all that kind of stuff. No, bitch, she makes, if she's doing something that makes herself look bad, she's making her motherfucking self look bad. She's not making me look like nothing because that's not me. That's her. <laughs> at the end of the day, that's what it is. So, if you are one of those people that thinks like that, then you are ignorant. You are closed-minded and ignorant and dumb and don't know how to separate a stereotype from the whole group. No whole group is the same. Just like you thinking every Mexican is a fucking um, immigrant or illegal. No, you're stupid if you think that. If you think every Mexican you run into is an illegal, you ignorant. You're stupid. <laughs> so if you think like that about any demographic, 
If you think all trans people are this, 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 and this, all black people are this, 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 and this, all Asian people are this, 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 and this, all lesbians are this, 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 and this, all women are this, this, and this, you are an idiot because everybody is diverse. There is common threads, commonalities, there's common things, but everybody is diverse and everybody, um, everybody doesn't fit in the same little box. So, back to the Caitlyn. I don't care what Caitlyn does. I care only on the level that I hope that, you know, she does whatever she feels is empowering to the community. She does it and she does it to the best of her abilities with the best intention. Um, and she has the right team behind her. I hope that that's the case. And if not, then, you know, still more power to you. That's still my motherfucking sister. Not my closest, because I don't know her. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I still love the fact that, um, you know, she's doing her thing and taking advantage of her privilege. I am okay for people to take advantage of their privilege. If you got the connect to be on fucking Vanity Fair, bitch, if I had it, I would have took it. If I got the connect to get a Diane Sawyer interview, bitch, Barbara, Oprah, Diane, whoever, if I got the connect to do it, I'm going to do it. And if you don't like it, bitch, fuck you. That's how I feel about it. So, and, and it just, it amazes me people who are kind of lashing out and almost have this negative undertone about her having the privilege. It just is what it is. That's, uh, we are in a class-based society. So, that sometimes a bitch has privilege. <laughs> Another thing I want to talk about, I want to talk about how she, people keep talk, dogging her picture saying she's um, photoshopped. I got one thing to say about that. That bitch look good. I know some ugly bitches that no matter how photoshopped you do to them, them hoes are still going to be ugly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't care what you do in Photoshop, they still going to be ugly. They might have smoother skin, they might be a little bit lighter, a little bit um, less bumpy, but the bitches are still ugly. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, I don't care. Just the fact that you can be photoshopped and look that good. I'm, I'm with you. Bruce, where you at? I don't see it. I see Caitlyn. So, hey, Caitlyn. <laughs> Bye, Bruce. <laughs> One thing that I want to point out is Caitlyn is not the first and will not be the last bitch that is transgender. <laughs> she is not. She will not be. And she is not breaking no ground. Any woman, any man, anybody, cisgender or transgender that has the courage to do something out of the norm living their life, I don't care what it is, that you might get some slack for and you decide whether it's to date out of your race in a culture that's against it, whether you um, are being trans, gay, um, whatever it is that is going against the grain in a positive manner, if you are doing it, you are a motherfucking hero to me. I don't care what nobody say. If you the first, last, whatever, you a hero to me because you are setting an example for somebody that is looking up to you. So everybody that's claiming, oh, she's not no hero. She's not da da da. Somebody, somebody 65, her age, could be looking at her and saying, oh my God, this whole time, I've been doing this. I remember, I'm 65, I remember when Bruce was Bruce. I'm winning the fucking, um, the Kafalon or whatever, however you say it. The, I'm Olympic champion. That's what I, I remember that Bruce and that Bruce who was the epitome of man. The epitome of, the, this is the peak of manhood. <laughs> could tell the world I've been a woman through that and now, and now I'm gonna live my life at 65. Somebody is listening and looking to Kaylin and being inspired and coming out of their shell too. So she is a hero to that person, even if you don't give a fuck. She's a hero to that person, and that is why. And that is why I respect everybody's story. I don't care what privilege you got. I don't care what race you are. I don't care anything like that because somebody relates to your story. Somebody may, I can't relate to um, Miss Caitlin's story. I'm not white. I'm not rich. 
I'm not, I don't, I'm, I didn't live as a man for 65 years and birthed all them babies and married all them women or like women. I don't know anything about that. That's not my, my story. So I relate to the not feeling comfortable in your body that you was assigned at birth. I feel, I relate to that, but that's where it ends. <laughs> so I don't look to her as my hero. People that I look to as my hero, um, Valerie Spencer. I love Val. That is my fucking, I love Valerie. <laughs> that is somebody that I love. Louis Mitchell, I love him. That is a trans man who I fucking love, adore. There's a lot of people that, to me... They inspire me to be better. My gay mom, my gay sisters, all of the people who I just who just make me who I am. Those are the people that are my heroes. I, Caitlyn, no, I live for Caitlyn. I live that she's breaking it up, but that's not my hero. But she's somebody's hero. I want you to get that. Just because you don't feel her like that, don't mean that somebody don't feel her. Somebody she is inspiring. Somebody she is teaching. Somebody she is opening their mind. Somebody that respected her as an athlete will continue to have respect for her and have a change of heart towards trans people because of her. Clock that. Don't let these people on the internet, these e-thugs, fool you. I see a lot of these comments talking about if I see a tranny or if I see a motherfucker, Bruce Jenner, I'ma call him Bruce. I'ma call him a he. Why y'all keep calling that motherfucker a she? And da 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 da. I'ma say he. I call that motherfucker man in his face. And da 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 da. We all know e thugs. We all know how gangster people can be tapping, twirling on that motherfucking keyboard. I'm not talking to you from somebody on the outside looking in. I live this. I am on the inside laid up in a recliner sipping on a motherfucking cocktail. And I've been doing this for a long motherfucking time. This is the life that I live. It's without question I know about it. So, from my experience, motherfuckers do not disrespect me in my face and not just me other people people will walk past and kiki with their judies they will make a little joke if they clock you now this is years ago they don't do that no more <laughs> but years ago when they clocked you and they knew that you was a tranny they'll walk past wait till you get to wait till they get some feet behind you and get to cackling and kiki they're not in your face calling you a man if they have an audience, they get some balls because they want to impress motherfuckers. They want to impress people and say, oh, well, let me see if I can get a cackle out of my Judy's and out of my friends, out of my homeboys at the expense of this faggot, tranny motherfucker. That's what they, they want to get some kikis. But when they buy themselves, they don't even get into all that kind of bullshit. They don't have those kind of balls. They just look at you or they try to holler at you something. It's not what they say they would do. Motherfuckers don't come up and say, that's a he, that's a man, that's a this, that's a that. All that kind of shit to a bitch face. They don't, they don't act tough like that. They'll do it like a, but if you see a bunch of group of niggas, when they suck it on each other nuts, not, not literally, maybe literally, but figuratively trying to be up in each other's ass, trying to get cool points, they might kiki and make a joke, but just coming up to a trans person and disrespecting them, that shit does not motherfucking happen. Nobody does that. I haven't seen that one-on-one -on -one ever. Only time I see a motherfucker disrespecting anybody that's of trans experience is if they are trying to get some cool points. They're trying to impress their friends. They're trying to impress somebody, a girl or something, some type of reason they're trying to impress. When they are alone and by themselves, that gangster shit is gone out the window. Either they're on hush mouth or they're trying to holler at you. One of the two. I don't want you to let them fool you into thinking that they just going to come up to us and say, you a man. 
Yo, I'll call you by your, I'ma call you what your mama named you. These motherfuckers on the internet is faking the funk. They not gonna do that. They don't do that. Cause they end up getting their ass beat. And I don't care how mad the comment, how many caps <laughs> they put. Don't let them fool you. They are not tough. Trust me, they are not. They don't do that. Only time they get some balls under them legs is when they're trying to impress other people. It has nothing to do with, oh, this is their personality. I'm gangster like that and I just do that to them motherfuckers. No, it's not. That doesn't happen. That's kind of all I wanted to talk about on that subject. Comment, tell me what you think about the circus fiasco. Um, tell me um, how your feelings about Miss Caitlyn Jenner. She wore it out. I live for her. Anyway, this is your girl Diamond. Bye-bye.